Hello and welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth. We are here for a very special reason today. Slug Disco reached out and asked if I might want to do some sort of exclusive creature reveal for the new upcoming tier 5. And I said, nah, I'll pass. No, of course I didn't. I said I'd love to do that more than anything in my life. Pretty much. I would love to do that. So here we are. Obviously, this isn't the creature reveal. This is just some generic background footage I took so I could waffle over something before we got to it. So, without any further delay, Editor Mance, drum roll, please. Ed Editor Mance? I don't care what you can you. Thank you. Here it is, the alligator back scorpion. Isn't it gorgeous? Alligator back because you can see that row or that, that triple row of ridges along its back there. So that's why it's called the alligator back scorpion. Isn't it glorious? I cannot wait to take my Matabele ants out against this and see how they fare and most likely die repeatedly and, and cry and have people in the comments tell me how bad I am and, and I'm wasting my life trying to play this game. But you know, it's all fun and games, isn't it, right? So let's pass over quickly to Slug Disco so they can do their introduction and then we'll come back. The Matabili have crossed paths with an alligator back scorpion, Hottentotter, Hottentotter. Wandering out into the open tonight on the hunt for insects, this sturdy arachnid uses two muscle-packed pedipalps for crushing its prey. And if they don't do the job, it can strike from above, spearing victims with its tail-mounted stinger, delivering a dose of paralyzing venom. The ants will fight to the death. There we have it. Doesn't it look sweet? And of course, in that footage, it also absolutely destroyed the ants. Just really backing up what I said before, before we cut over to that as well, that, you know, we're going to struggle against it. When I uh, was asked to do the scorpion, I all I could, all I was thinking was, man, I really hope it gets to use his tail. I really want to just see it like venomously stab into things. And it did. And I was so happy with that. So you can see a little bit of extra footage that I've provided here. So you can see one of the other creatures that have actually been revealed for Tier 5, which is the common earwig that the scorpions are currently fighting. And there's even a little baby uh, baby earwig there. Ah, oh, ain't it cute? Isn't it about to get murdered by an alligator back scorpion? The hot and totter, hot and totter. Also, love the Latin for that as well. That is fantastic. So I went off and had a little bit of a look at the alligator back scorpion to see what I could find about it. Um, it's about, it's a moderately sized scorpion as it's described, which means it's about two to three inches in real life. So it's going to positively dwarf our Matabele ants, as you saw. It seems to be classed as at least a, a titan or a semi-titan, because we saw the ants climb up on its back to attack it. Although how they're going to get through its thick shell on top there, I guess they'll be aiming for the joints at the legs, the pedipalps and the tail to really do any proper sort of damage. Interestingly, the female of the species are capable of parthenogenesis, which I'm sure everyone knows what I mean when I say that. What that means is they can actually self-impregnate. Rather than having to be impregnated by a male, or fertilised by a male, they can fertilise their own eggs to give birth without having any dealings with another uh, member of the opposite sex. Isn't that fascinating? I doubt that's going to make it into the game. That would be a bit weird. But what a fascinating little fact. They are, of course, venomous. Um, it's difficult to find too much information on the brief little sort of uh, search, search I had around for it. Um, but there was one site I found from people who keep... It's actually an aquarium breeder site, so I don't know what the scorpion's doing on there. Um, so the toxicity of the venom has not been studied, but there are some reports. The descriptions are a sharp burning pain, intense pain, feels like my skin being methodic methodically peeled off, etc. I mean, that doesn't sound very pleasant. It also says generally the sharp pain lasts for several hours. So that's how it would feel to you. Imagine a little Matabele ant getting stung with that. That would be pretty nasty. They are, of course, predatory, eating bugs and crickets and mealworms and obviously ants as well. 
So there we go. The hot and totter, hot and totter. The alligator scorpion. Allig the alligator back scorpion even. I'll get the name right, shall I, in my exclusive reveal video. That would be great. Amazing stuff, amazing stuff. So, if you haven't been paying attention, Slug Disco did put out their reveal video for the Matabele Ants, finally. Not the greatest kept secret in the world, but now they are officially out there. The video also showed off termites. In the wild, I was, I was reading through the Slug Disco newsletter, so I picked up a few little tidbits. In the wild, the Matabele ants pillage termite nests and they are, in fact, entirely independent on them. Obviously, in the game, they'll be able to consume other things, but isn't that fascinating? They also revealed another uh, ant that will be in, encountered in Tier 5, not necessarily playable, but encountered, which is the African stink ant, the Paltothreas tarsatus. I'm so sorry, people who know Latin better than I do. That was terrible pronunciation, but that's there. If you've been paying attention to the other Empire's content creators, Fraz had a video out recently showing off the amazing Sun Spider Titan. Go check that out. He actually got to play around with it in the uh, the arena of, uh, mode of the game, so go and check that out in action. That looks fantastic. Also known as the Camel Spider, if you uh, remember that other name. that I did. It's one I'm probably more familiar with. That's the one I remember it being called. There's the common earwig that we saw in the video there of this alligator back scorpion they've also announced there will be another tiger beetle as slog disco said would it even really be a proper empires of the undergrowth update without a new tiger beetle apart from tier three so we have the dromacoida elegantia a brand new tiger beetle and honestly when you look at the picture in the newsletter it's on the uh, the steam page for the game if you want to go check it out it looks ferocious so that's fun isn't it just and it also shows off a lovely picture of the African savannah. I don't know if I mentioned that. Yes, tier five, in case you didn't know, is going to be based in the African savannah. So all of these creatures are... They, I was going to say they're all native to Africa. They're not. The common earwig isn't native to Africa. It is actually an invasive species. But they are all found in Africa. So there we go. Cannot wait to get my hands on a build of tier 5 at some point so we can play around and see the Matabele ants in future. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, slug disco. Hey, hey, yeah, we like that. Hope you enjoyed this little super sneak peek at this brand new creature coming in tier 5. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all those good things. Massive thanks to Slug Disco for providing me this amazing opportunity to do this reveal exclusively on the channel. Go and check them out. Subscribe to their uh, their YouTube as well so you can keep up to date with all their brand new reveals. They also have a Discord as well that you can find. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. So if you want to keep up with updates uh, from other creators like myself, they put those in the announcements on there. So that's a great place to check those out if you don't follow all of the creators on YouTube already, which of course you should. So yeah, thank you for all that. Uh, I do stream as well, so come along and check me out on Wednesdays at 7.30pm UK time if you'd like to come and say hello. Otherwise, I will see you back in Empires of the Undergrowth in the near future. And as always, thank you very much for joining me.